Hello everyone, hello, welcome, uh, quick video, hopefully we might just record our arena on which we're intending to go on because we just got a free ticket, but we just received, uh, um, we just reached 1200 total levels in expansion reward tracks, so we get a free skin, and we've got five obviously already because this is going to be the sixth one, because six times 200 is 1200, so we've got the Jaina one, Thrall, Valera, Anduin, and Rexa. I mean, the Felgrave Illidan looks really good. Stormrage's Mafia, they all look really good. I've got the. Yeah. Let's just pick something which I might be playing recent um, at the moment. I'm playing a bit of priest, a bit of shaman. I think maybe I'll take the the demon hunter one. It looks really nice. We could we could take the the, the warlock one. The warlock one also looks like awesome. Let's just check in a collection what we've got for warlock besides Nemzi. So we have a really good warlock one. So we've only got three warlock ones. So we've got Felheart Gold Dan. Okay. Um, so besides Mage, there's only one other class which we've only got two skins. So I guess we'll go with Demon Hunter. Since it's only got three, oh, it's got quite a few skins actually. Because oh, it's got all the ones which you have to pay for with the rewards track. All the Kurtris ones, uh, the Arana ones. Oh, these, these are interesting. All right. Wow, the Demon Hunter does have quite a lot. Okay, but anyway, I'm not going to be getting them. So let's get the Demon Hunter one. Looks really nice and colourful. I like it. Fell Ravager Illidan. There you go. Alright, let's quickly start an arena run. Maybe we'll get Demon Hunter, we get to use it. So let's just go over to our collection. Let's make this our new favourite. Okay, Ildan knew he couldn't just wear anything while invading the tomb of Sargeras. The dress code is very strict, obtained by completing the tavern regular achievement. Okay, this looks stunning, it's an amazing one. I, th I, I think I, I like Even demons shall fear me. Yeah, okay, I think this is our new favourite one. It looks really good. Anyway, so let's go into. Oh, one minute. Do we have the free ticket yet? Yeah, we've got the free ticket. Very nice. Okay, so let's get on with it. Um, I've been doing lots of bits and pieces, like uh, books of mercenaries and stuff like that, and finish off book of heroes. I haven't bothered recording because no one really watches them. Um, yeah, extra tavern ticket. Don't worry about the usual entrance fee this time. Yeah, and I don't want to get into jewels at the moment because it's just, it's just the meta is so uh, random. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got Druid, Warlock and Shaman. Oh, <laughs> Druid, Warlock, Shaman. Ah, okay. Um... Let's see, are there any trends? So Warlock's gone down, unless they got nerfed or something like that. Okay, um, which one shall we pick? Let's think. Um, obviously Druid's my favourite. Um, let's, let's see what sort of cards. Is there any way of finding out um, what sort of cards 
not playing let's see if we can so I've got half the arena open and it's actually showing me the different cards which are being played in each deck at the moment so let's go to druid let's see what sort of cards we expect to get and if they look fun we will take it claw machine oasis surger Ooh, that's not that amazing uh two damage treant living roots Ooh, very underwhelming must say does not look good and most of the cards are neutral cards as well Ooh, not looking not liking the look of druid at all oh these are just common cards oh my goodness um why is it only showing me common cards ah here we go all oh, right so we've got our butt up teacher's pep um physio elemental twilight runner guidance ground keeper okay those look decent what about epic cards epic cards we've got insatiable devourer cast eight druid spells that's nice survivor of the fittest Widow Bloom Seedsman, Runic Carvings, Scenario Wood. Okay, those are pretty decent. And we've got Greybow, Gidra Scenarius. And we've got Cecil of the Fake Court Taunt. Death Rattle Draw Minion reduces cost by 8. <laughs> look amazing. Okay, that's decent. Okay, so Druid's decent. Shaman, we've got cards like Instructor Fireheart, Raz, Inara Storm Crash, Gidra again, the Storm Right, uh, the rest of the game are total stuff to attack. Uh, not amazing. Um, wow, it looks like Shaman doesn't have any epics, any class epics. Which are good. The best of the is as a runic carving. And let's check the rares. Whack-a-mole. Post. Yeah. Oh dear, this really doesn't look good at all. Shaman doesn't look good at all at the moment. Mistrana. Well, Mistrana is actually pretty good. Tempo card, but no. And what's the third class we've got? We've got Warlock. Okay, let's see what sort of cards Warlock have. Warlock's a bit scary because uh, if you can't get going, you know, your hero power is the most useful one in, in Arena, but it's also the scariest class to play because you're going to get low health quite a lot. And you have to make sure you're always ahead on board. We've got some very strong um, control tools. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to end up going going Druid here Let's see what sort of class legendaries are there Lady Darkvin Darkvin summon two, two one shades each one gains a death rattle to to cast your last shatter spell oh wow that's weird Lord Jaraxxus as well yeah. alright I think we're going to go we're going to go with Druid here oh good <laughs> I wish he would have told me that before he wanted to test me to make sure that I was right to awaken him ok let's start off with ooh, that is hmm I think, I think we go with this one. I mean, this is a bit squishy. Get some good board presence early, but uh, whenever adjacent minion takes damage, just takes it instead. It's a tricky minion to play. Dirigible, obviously. Um, fishy fly, I would say. Hmm, trigger friendly minion's death rattle. Ooh, it's for three mana. Shall I risk it? 
If I get some good death rattles, are there any good death rattles in the meta? Are there any good death rattles? Let's have a quick look. What sort of death rattles we can get for Druid? So Druid Death Rattle. Let's have a look. Right, so no, no, ah, no good. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Draw a death rattle, meaning gain its death rattle. Bottom feeder, uh, well, that's that's a decent one, but I probably wouldn't end up with that. Um, look at Scholomance as well. Where's Scholomance? Here we go. Okay, so that's a good. That's a good one. Um, what do we have here? We've got this one, which has he got Proto Drake. I think it can, if if we want to go for a twelve win run, I think that's the kind of card which can actually give us that you know je ne sais quoi, that you know that extra X factor which can make the difference. I think. It's risky. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and get some free go. Okay, sorry about that interlude there. I uh, had a fun game there. Got 1,500, uh, what's it called, smackers. Um, the quick question is, do I open all my packs before getting the free legendary? I think so, because if I get a legendary, that might make the packs not want to give me a legendary. I'm not sure how it works. I'll open the packs first and then I'll get the free legendary. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go back to the draft. No, yes, I, I think I'm going to take it. <laughs> okay. My goodness, it wants me to take this card. I have to cast a nature spell. Well, it might work. I mean, this is... I'm not getting 10 spells in this deck. Alright, okay. I'll throw me Hedge Mage again. This is a good card. Um, yeah, Panthera gives me card draw. You know, I've got plenty now. Summon two treants. So if I get lots of cheap cards. Oh wow, this is very good with the hedge mage. Yeah, let's just like summon an eight eight for ten mana summon two eight eight three eight eights effectively. That's ten mana twenty four stats. Well, thirteen mana if you prepare it beforehand. I want to get something cheaper. Ah, maybe this. Discover me for your deck to summon or spell to cast. That's pretty good if I manage to hit this or that, but come on. Yeah, we'll go with this. Aha. Summon a Gibberling. Don't have many spell synergies, unfortunately. Um, is that, yeah, we can get, we can get, oh, here's yeah, Wild Growth. It's going to tell me to get this, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Why is Wild Growth so bad? I guess because it's anti-tempo. You don't have the guaranteed pay of high-cost cards to make Wild Growth a good, good card. Um, one of these two. I mean, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Well, we do have infused cards somewhere. I thought we had infused. Yeah, we got infused cards in. I mean, hedge mage could be used on that. 
Uh, not convinced. I, I think we should just take a guaranteed infused card. Uh, that's uh, Rush Minion. Uh, I mean, this works really nicely with Savage Strike. Uh, that could be. That could be two mana. Two three, which does two damage plus the pounce. All right, I guess it gives me another minion. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, this is also good as well. What we're we looking at here, what type of deck have we got so far? We've got a four or five. This is a mid range deck. Is this like a ping or a good tempo play early on? So a 3 2 and a random 1 cost minion. Which is it 1 2? That's a 4 4 in stats on average, I would say. Um, let's go with this. Oh, I think we definitely take this. These, these two are both very good. I think this one's bit better for the tempo. Um, I guess we take another one of these. Ah, Teacher's Pet, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the death rattle we saw in the in my collection there before. Um, what do we have? We've got three one drops, two two drops, Two playable two drops. We could play these even without the special effects. A two man two threes crocolisk at worst. Um three, three. We need I think we need a couple more two and three drops. We got too many four drops. For five drops. Yeah, we'll take one more five drop. The rest has to be twos and threes or very big cards. Friendly be some copy of it. <laughs> you do that in Octasari, that's crazy. We could fatigue ourselves to death there. Um, and that could go on Teacher's Pet, that, that can. Summon a random two cost minion battle cry. I, I like the tempo with this, to be honest. Um, This is two mana for a 1-1. One, one. This is two mana for a 1-1. One, one. But this gets another 1-1. One, one, and this gets something slightly better. A two mana. Oh dear. I suppose this is better. Because it gives me the option of the two damage as well. Uh, any good spells? What's our most expensive spell? Oh. I think this is better. This is nasty. This can. This is a really powerful card. If you, use it. yeah, it, it's already seeing Octasari and uh, Stoneborn General. Yeah. Yeah, we take this. I think we're going for a control attrition type deck here. Crab Rider goes very well with the hand buff, if we can pull that off. No means guaranteed. Oh, Smug Senior, very nice. That is a card and a half. Nourish. I don't think we need more card draw, and Ramp is also very uh, dodgy here. What's this do? Dinner Performer. Summon a random minion from your deck that you can afford to play. So if you play this on turn four, we can get a Raven. Turn five, we get. Well, we might get the one, two, but we could get one of these. Good two drops. Um, okay, it's, it's, it's flexible. Was it two, three? Two, three. Okay, it's one stat off. Um, bit of a disruption card here. How are we on 
three drops. One, two, three. Oh dear. We are short on three drops. We've got a lot of card draw here. I'm going to get something with more stats. I think we need more stats. I think our card draw is, is more or less covered, isn't it? How much card draw do we actually have? We've got Panthera. That's one. We kind of got the fishy flies kind of card generation, but not really card draw. Oh, maybe we don't have card draw. Well, we've got Onyx Mage Scriber. All right, okay, I guess we take this. Do we have any mechs? We've got two mechs. Three mana, three four is not bad. Guess this is good as a ping. Um, draw nature spell. Oh right. Okay, magical. Oh, I didn't notice that. Do we have any nature spells? I just realised we've got something which draws a nature spell. That's one nature spell. Huh. Oh right, so we've got these these are also nature spells. Um Okay, um are we gonna have a wide board early on? We could. <coughs> Um, how are we doing on three drops? One, two. I think we need a three drop actually. I think we take this one. It's got synergies with the dirigible and with the with the amalgam. All right. Let's see what sort of deck we've got here. We've got an attrition deck, 70. Okay, let's, let's start the run. Haven't been playing Arena for a very long time. We've had a couple of games recently with a free ticket an extra one we've done okay we're probably averaging about five or five or six wins a run i think we had one run which was nine and two which we stopped just before the expansion another one which was eight i think another one which is seven we had a three and we had a one as well I think these are all good. Um, Summon of 3 2. That means 4 mana. Summon of 3 2. That's 3 3 2s effectively. Uh, and we can always use this for other battle uh, death rattles re re later on. This 4 3 is a 4 3 to our hand with Rush. I think we can keep both of them. It's going to be a bit of a slow... Oh, it's... it's uh, what's her name? Tyrande. Isn't he meant to like, have a special greeting for Tyrande? My 
so we've got the infused card in hand which is nice we've got infused five cards here ouch um i think we coin out the four three here see what he manages to do with it or do we just play on curve do we just play on curve uh, i think i want to push the tempo a bit because the thing is now we've corrupted this which is nice we'll probably play this next turn yeah and then we're probably going to play hedge mage afterwards to so maybe summon another three two because i think we're not going to be able to play another four three unless we get pushed back on the board Right, the annoying thing would be is if he's got a Holy Nova or something now. Wow, that's very slow. Oh, that is sad. That is very sad. Oh, I see. got a lot of damage on board he has to clear it now otherwise it's game over already and i've got a beautiful uh dirigible into gorilla but putting a six six stats on board. oh there it is i'm close to infusing here as well okay so let's go for the this little combo here See if we get a good death rattle mech. Oh, talk about good death rattle mech. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's got one of them as well. Okay. Oh, this is terrible. He's just completely lacking any tempo at all. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. Right, okay, so this can all go face. I've got four damage, five damage face with this. Let's see if we get a good minion here. Nice, that's very nice. Let's just get rid of these big minions here. I think we got two, four, I think we protect one of our uh, three twos here by dealing two damage. Okay, it's a bit scary this because he's got such a big hand, he must have a big removal or big heal coming up. I'm going to say, oh, why didn't I play it around that? Okay, this is very good, he's got three mana to save the game now, extremely unlikely. With considering what's on board, yeah, that's that's just nowhere near good enough. Is that? It's actually quite close. Uh, I've actually got exactly lethal because of this. Okay, nice. A nice start there. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, but that, that I can see this deck is not very good. It, it, I, I barely won by turn six or seven. 
despite the fact he literally played almost nothing the first few turns. His tempo was absolutely atrocious there. It's terrible. I can't expect to get, uh, unless that's what the meta is like, I can't expect to get such uh, such an easy game in the future. Okay, I can summon two one ones here. I'm going first. If you, even if you coins out ping, that's the coin gone. Turn one gone. I've got lots of threes and fours, so I don't want to risk getting two high cost cards. Okay, that's nice. I uh, prefer to play this with the hero power. Be nice to get our infused card in hand now. <laughs> the exit is this way. Oh, that's that card I was thinking of uh, crafting. Oh, okay. Two or three which summons a one one. him to trade into it if he does I can ping it off nothing really quite worked there yeah Again, don't have a very good option here because I really want to play this with Hero Power next turn. I'll just temper this out and sacrifice the two one ones. Uh, okay. I don't need to. It's fine. He'll probably ping this, trade the two two in. But that leaves him with one mana. If he does anything else, he probably trades a 2-2 two, two into the 1-1. One, one. I can hero power that since I'm intending to hero power anyway. He's going to ping that. Yeah. And he's there for one mana. Perfect. Ooh. It'd be nice to make use of that, but. I think we really want to make use of our card draw here. That was our whole plan. Again, a very slow deck. Are these decks just very greedy or something? I could just put this in the middle here. That's going to make my balls very strong. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh no, actually, I think this is probably better. This leaves me with a 5-5. Five, five, um, a 5-2. Five, I don't have to stop working out what happens with the interaction with this and the Divine Shield. Does it lose its Divine Shield? It's not really taking damage. Ouch. <coughs> okay. Right, okay, so he's on five mana. So is he looking for a blizzard? Must be flame ward. Really? He's still going for tempo here. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to send this face first. Let's 
So that is our protector too. It's actually going to be hard for him to kill this off. Okay, so hopefully this 5-2 will be safe because of the 3-8 next to it, because of this effect it has. Uh, also, hopefully the death rattle of this will hit one of the, these little 1-1s, one sort of like decoys that play there. Okay. Nice. So one minute, what did it, did it hit the... Hit that, that, and that. Interesting. So it survived all of that. Wow. Um, this is probably the one I want to attack with. Hopefully it'll take the damage from both of these and they'll survive. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, it works perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted to happen there. See, the thing is, if I was attacked with this, then the 3 8 would have died. I, I would have lost three, 3 damage. Now it's down to 3 damage with a, a divine shield on the board and with a sticky minion as well. So. Okay, if I get a spell, I've got some options with this. Um, so, enemy minion equal to hero's attack. Why can't this go face? The answer is because there's a card from the same expansion called Tonk. And Tonk is a nasty card. Well, that's going to give me a 2 2. So, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, so Tonk can get a ridiculous amount of uh, hero power attack. Um, you can get it through the current expansion as well with the with the Druid quest line. There's lots of cards which give you attack, so this is a nice way of utilizing that attack in a different way rather than just going full face into whatever you're trying to attack with. Right, um, another priest. It's not easy to trigger this. Definitely don't want to take that. I think two, three drops of the coin is, is reasonable. Just for the two one ones to start off with. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, we've got to be very careful not to coin this out. If we coin that out, we end up uh, not summoning anything. So if we're Chanted Raven, we play this on turn four. Okay, so let's do that. Hope the recording is not overloading too much here. Okay. I think we play this before he gets anything which can do three damage in one go. Well played. Ooh, dear. <laughs> My greeting. <laughs> I 
I think the living roots into this looks good. Uh, I could hero power to get rid of it, or I could play this and lose a 1 1. So, do I value? But then I won't be able to play this if I use zero power. Do I? Okay, so I'm, I'm getting an extra health effectively. Okay, so next turn, a 4 5 summoning a 2 2. That's a basically four mana yeti with a two two on top. Ah. Bit frustrating. Oh, look at that two one, two. No, that doesn't work either. All right. Right. Obviously, I don't want to trade because that let him trade a second time and it healed both of the damage factors up. So, yeah, so next turn, we want to play the Teacher's Pet and that will give us the rush. And we're just kind of running out of steam here. Your mind is not your own. We have to kill that 2-6, because that could steal something very important. Oh! Don't take the 2-2, two -two. don't take the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Could have been worse. Um, I think we just do this, trade that, this doesn't have much value anymore. I think we don't trade that in because he could easily heal up and then do a favourable trade or whatever he wants to do there. It's always risky to leave a 2-2 up like that but I mean trading in, yeah. At least we get a beast here. Ah, it's a stealth piece, nice. And he's not healing it up either. Okay, so I think we can do... No, I think we do it like this. Okay. The next turn we've got a nice-ish turn. These all have synergies with my hero power. We'd like to get the hedge maze soon, so we can do this on turn ten. Summon the eight eight as well. Might just hysteria, but that will leave me with an eight eight anyway. Okay, it's always tricky playing against the priest. Pr probably got the most. Uh oh, that's really nice. That is really nice. Okay. Oh, we got the hedge maze, but we're gonna have to deal with this first. Draw. Okay, it's a shame if we had it in the turn earlier. For the wild. Yeah, we want him to use both 1-1s one on the 4-2. Well I guess we play Smug Senior. Turn 9 we play Hedge Maze and Mage and the other Smug Senior and play turn 10. Summoning out two eight eights and hopefully yeah, we draw something else to carry on or we win the game. Maybe Octasari. Octasari would be pretty good here, wouldn't it? We don't want to play it on a non hedged board because it could silence the Octasari, which would completely mess me up. 
Uh, what do we play for three mana besides this? I guess hero power. And this has got a very big attack taunt. We don't want to just play hero power for the sake of it. Um, I've still got the Amalgam Gorilla button. Well, that kind of solves my problem for me, doesn't it? Um, we'll be fine. It wasn't that big. Easy prey. Okay, it kills that off. I have to hope it kills the 5 7, I guess. This is a really awkward ball for him if he doesn't have any other pings or anything. A charming composition. Wow, that is very frustrating. All right, we've got this coming up now anyway. So let's put the hedge, put the taunt. So instead of having a winning board, we've got a surviving board with this Stoneborn General now. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. My deck, <laughs> not, not my hand. <laughs> Is he going to play an Octasari? Ouch, okay. So this is really good. I've got a really good way of dealing with this board. So this is going to kill one of my 8-8s, which I do not mind, because that will just give me another 8-8. Eight eight. Well there you go, alright. Can you get rid of the two 8-8s eight here? That's the question. If I, put, if I manage to put this down, wow. Spectacular. That's why I wanted to get the hedge for big plays like that. That saved me the game there. Hopefully he's completely oversaturated the his last one. My goodness! Oh, oh, oh! Look at this! This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is incredible. This is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> I protected my 282s with this. That's incredible. My goodness, now he's in trouble. So he has to get rid of this first, then get rid of the 82s. And I've got a bit of tempo with the with the hedge maze and the and the fishy flyer. Have I used this twice already? Oh no, it's three mana, but you can use it twice. Yeah, I guess if you can use it three times. That doesn't work. That's not how it works. Did he not understand what just happened last turn? I really don't think he understood what just happened. I think he completely messed that up and didn't understand what... Up to code. 
Wow. Okay, it's very hard for me to get this to survive. damage that's a question okay so this is definitely what I'm doing this is my play the question is how do I trade everything I think I send both these face kill this off this is lethal that's lethal six 11 5 he needs five damage to hand so he's gonna ha but he definitely doesn't have an infused one of these because he's literally just played this room okay what why is he doing that he could have survived couldn't he oh no he couldn't he couldn't survive ah because he could only he could only kill one of these off Right, very, very nice. What a lovely swing turn that was. Oh, Hedge Maze. Completely underrated. Just because it's not being recommended as a good card, it's probably because people are not playing it at all. If they are playing it, they're not getting cards with decent death rattles. Oh no, no alarm going on outside. Oh, that's good. Didn't last very long, thank God. Right, that would have been really annoying. Another priest! So many priests! Okay, this is turn one, two one ones plus this. Very nice. Okay, going first, we want to make sure we've got a guaranteed curve. Care to hear your heart, you? My thanks to you. <laughs> My greeting. How many priests have I been facing recently? Looks like priest and mage are very popular for some reason. Oh, we got the hedge mage. And we've got this turn four, perfect. This is a perfect curve here. Four damage sharing. We've got a slow turn next turn, but that's going to accelerate. I think we want to set up the hedge. Hopefully, hopefully, he doesn't have any board clear or anything like that. Where you follow. <sighs> He's not healing up. Do I go hero power for two damage? Three still doesn't kill it. I think we just get the tempo going. <coughs> you get the goods. I'll stand watch. Okay, he's got some big minions here. A bit scary. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. This draws me living roots or or that one. Even better. Ah. Never mind. Do we give ourselves how much does this have to infuse four more? Yeah. 
Let's just some of the saplings. <laughs> Hope for the best. So if you do two times just to, to this with these two cards. Ah, it's frustrating. This is frustrating. Um, I think we save this for this. Um, This is infused now. I see your weakness. For the wild. <laughs> I guess he's gonna try removing this somehow. There's no point in me removing it myself. Yeah, so we definitely want to save the hedge mage for the big ten drop. Especially it's only two more turns away okay is he gonna heal that up he can't heal it up that's nice okay go fishy flyer anyway uh, I think we just do this actually a place to hide. Easy okay, so we equalize the board. We've got one slow turn coming up, and then we've got a big explosive turn with two eight eights. As long as it keeps out arrows. We will feed on this. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Right, this just gives him armor, so I don't care too much about that. This does give him overkill. I don't really care, so therefore I might as well give him something else to aim at. A natural mistake. Make it look as if I forgot to use the hedge. Yeah, so the rush minion's gonna take this off and any other big minion he plays. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Shame. Okay, but well, here we go. Here's a big turn. Can he deal with two massive minions without hysteria, of course? Okay, that's one. <laughs> now hysteria is good. Oh, come on, he had it. He had mass hysteria. Just my luck. Okay, I won't make two of these so I can get value out of this. So I'm going to copy, play this. Ah, yeah, mass hysteria. Ah, my lovely ATS. No! No, we don't like that card. Shut up. I'm going to wait for a spell because I've got zero value now. Let's have a look. Playing the two threes into here is not going to help. He'll heal up. Take everything face. Not much I can do. I just have to hope to get a spell. Plays Yusera's Awakening now. 
which would have killed this as well so I couldn't even tempo that would have killed this as well done five damage to that take it down to five health uh, take it down to four health and then oh he's not even he's not even using his serious awakening interesting well he's either got uh, a partially infused card here I don't think I can win this this looks completely lost Oh, um, if I get the what's it called card, two random spells from your class. If I get the one which does ten what's it called spells, okay. Let's one minute, uh, infuse these two die. It won't get infused. <sighs> All right, this is scary. Oh, scenario award! Come on, give me something big. Ah, all right, here we go. Um, we've got two less than that, so we've got to go for more here. Okay. He's already got fourteen damage on board, but at least I've got something to do here. So I've got a five damage ping here. He doesn't want to play Serious Awakening anymore, which he should have done before, to be honest, I think. Because he's going to destroy his own board. Except the 7 6. Um, yeah, he's going through. He's going through Serious Awakening. He's going to send 3 5 face, 7 6 face. Yeah. Then do Serious Awakening. But that means I can rush in with this guy. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. You could have buffed it up before attacking. Because remember, he's I'm I'm effectively on thirteen here, because he's got um. You get the goods. Bust Ouch. The end is near. Um you get the goods. I'll stand watch. I think we just tried developing the board a bit here. Do we take the seven damage to the face? What does this block? If I play here and, and I play the Acolyte of Pain. Maybe I should just play this and come here about. I want to have a bit of um, stickiness on board. So I'm going to end up with a 4 5, which you can take out with two minions, leaving me with. That leaves me with the Acolyte. Alright. I mean, the priest isn't going to have that much face damage. It's always scary taking seven to the face like that with such a small hand. Remember, this is uh, this can get rid of five health immediately. I don't want to maximize that. Yeah. So he's used that up. One minute, he had lethal there. What's he doing? He could have dreamed. He could have dreamed my taunt back to the hand. Yes, well played. Oh. How are people. I've got so many people who get sad to Nathria so far. I've never been offered him. I've played about three or four games of Arena recently. Never been offered that card. Well, I guess. I guess it's my first loss, so I guess I'm playing the the top tier decks now. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, we're up to uh, 1,433 points on towards level 51, which means we've 
already qualified for our level 50 um, free legendary I wish they'd give you a bit more than just the two free legendaries uh. oh so sweet terrible opening hand even this is not good I have to I have to play this turn three by coining four then playing it so really yeah that's just three man two three just really doesn't cut the cut the bagel or whatever you want to call it um okay that's nice to have the infused there so we've got our tempo turn to start with Ooh, how exciting is he gonna pick an early game i guess he's gonna pick something like turn three or turn four maximum if he's got a bad curve then he's gonna pick something cheap if he's got a good curve my goodness what a hard one after you play a card copy from a steal the original i'm guessing he took this no he took undertaker i could have used undertaker so well ah, ah. all right never mind imagine this with undertaker get an eight eight draw eight cards oh my goodness that's a shame okay so he's got an undertaker so let's see what death rattles he has okay that's probably one of the worst death rattles you want to put into undertaker rather one cost me into your hand it's not even played i think it's a good turn to coin this out Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. can't infuse this three more times do you play Hedge Mage? <sighs> Is anyone else lost? <laughs> I think we've got to use tempo early. He's going to draw us a lot of cards here because these are only one health. Unless he's got Bless or something like that. Again! It's such a bad card, this. Discover a, a four cost card. My goodness. Wow. Okay, so we've got. Um, let's put these both on two health. This way they're both protected. Um, we've got to infuse, so we'll probably play the Oasis All Surger. The fans, nice. Ouch. That can be tricky. Ah! Okay, we can play this straight away actually. Or we can just play. How much do we need to infuse? Two more. We've got the Malcolm in the end as well, so it would be nice to get the Octobot. Maybe just play this and and what else? Hero power? Alright, let's just do this. Where do we send them? I think we send we send it here because we've got the Oasis Surge coming up. It's also going to make him start thinking why on earth I played that way. Okay, let me get through the one of them. <coughs> Actually... Five and four and a two, maybe four and a two, maybe. 
we rush in this kills that yes it just gives me a clean board okay see if he's got an answer he's got a big minion and he's got six what, what do you do with that oh and he's, he's got undertaker as well that's annoying that clears my board well got a very nice answer to that So that's what he drew with Claw Machine, which is nice. So I was able to deal with that without too much problem. Is <laughs> that a dragon? Oh, you're yeah, holding a dragon. Okay. I've got to add a two hand from another class. Copy it. So he gets two copies of that. Definitely do not want him to keep doing that. I you put the hedge and I put the rush minion in. Yeah, I think we just knock this off this this has just got so much value potentially so i don't want to risk doing anything like that again this can heal up two but it's going to go down to two it's going to be if it heals it up it'll be five four which i can deal with okay that's a bit more of a problem Seven, six, five, seven. Five. I can just kill this five two off. I still got hero power to deal with this. It ah discover spell. It costs two less this turn. Got to be very careful here. Okay, so I can definitely oh, wow. use that soon. Might get that tasty uh, 10 mana uh, druid spell. Here is the massive shock swing turn, which he is not expecting, hopefully. This devastates his board. If he does that, he gives me an 8-8. If he does that, he lets me get summon another 8-8. Eight eight. Not next turn, turn after. Magic is not a this is a very high-powered attrition game here. Okay. How's he going to kill the 8-1? How's he going to kill the 8-1? Hopefully he doesn't get a ping from that. I've got 13 cards. If I want to play Octosaurus, I've got to empty out this hand quickly in places. Okay. Mm, mm. Mm. That is annoying. Well, let's hope we get something good here. Is that could have won in the game. A 
piece from my hand. Oh, give it a rest. Um, that could give me a rushing octosauri. This is a beast, and that's a beast. So if I play the, I could play resizing pouch actually. Resizing pouch gives us a nine drop. That could be quite good. And Duster? What have I got here? What, what did I just pick up? Oh, right, this is going to go in my hand. Okay. Ends, I think, yeah, I've got quite a few. I've got quite a few uh, different minions. So, let's put down an elemental. Well, let's put this down. And let's put the, the taunt in there. The sticky, let's put the sticky one in and put this down. Okay. 11. He needs two more damage to kill me as well. It's a bit scary, this. Oh, come on. Really? Ah, yeah, well. Out controlled. Yeah, it's always tricky playing priest. He, he has some very powerful turns. He's got ways of making the strength of your bullet work against you. And when I got that hedge card, I got the two eight eights. He said, "Thank you very much," because now I can play them against each other with a massisterio or something like that. Ah, annoying. Yeah. Priest is the bane of my run so far. I want I beat two priests and then lost to two priests. So I've had four my five games so far I've been priest. It's not a bad deck this, but it's just no probably not. And a mage! People are only playing priest and mage. This is incredible. Very annoying. Alright, I'd like to play some other classes. Uh, keep that as a as a three four I guess. Maybe that's why Hedge Mage is not good, not because it's a bad card, but because people are playing priest and priests can uh, take advantage of any shenanigans you pull off with Hedge Mage. Oh goodness! Ouch! What a terrible start. <coughs> Mm. Well, if we keep doing this to the end of the game, I'm going to end up with 30 health. We'll end up dead after 30 turns. Okay. I could play this turn 4 or 5. Probably turn 5 would be better if I've got one drop in hand. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, missiles. Come on. Give me those pings. Let's put a 2 3 and a 2 2 on board. Okay, I guess we'll go with that. We could have one minion, one mana left over them. It's better than having a 1 4 and just using hero power. Mispositioned this. Did we misposition her? Did we mispositioned her? It just not. kills herself straight away. It even survives. Is he going to waste two mana on killing that off? Okay. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Very nice. Gave me a card. So that was perfect position, putting the 5 1 next to this, yeah. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? That doesn't make sense. I'm conf 
confused. Why did he do that? Oh, he looks like he's trying to play the AOE card. So this protects against that. I'm going to hang on to that just in case he's got the board wipe skate. It looks like he's setting up for it. Is he just going to throw it out without thinking? Thinking he's going to get three skeletons? Okay. So I can charge him with this and knock that off. Oh, I can do the thingy again. So I want this to die to summon the 2-2. So I want to be able to attack face with this just in case it's flame. Flame mode. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Right, so if he's going to play it now, he's going to have to have something to... Didn't kill those ones. Okay. Um, so I can just... I could play two four drops here. I think it's probably more efficient. Yeah, just kill this off. This also gives me divine shield. Five one. Da 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 da. -da. Red card. Okay. Any way I can attack that and get through that. Do I have three damage from face somewhere? Got two and one. One, two, three. No, no, this can't attack twice though. Ah, frustrating. Frustrating. Let's see if we can get anything else from this. Okay, that's good. Let's put this down, I guess. He's going to ping that. I want to get value out of it. Um, there's no point in me taking full damage because the way I'm going to remove this next turn is either with this or with these two or with this or with that. So there's no point in me going into the face here at all. Taking full damage for no reason. Well, at least I can't see one for the foreseeable future. Okay. What's that do? Ah. Now we're talking. Just send this face actually. So with two hero powers off lethal with this. Okay. Okay. 
What does that do? Uh, okay. Do we play it now? I can't see why we don't play it now. We take the. F I think we just send them all the damage face here. Can you deal with three eight eights on the board? Because remember, any of those eight eights, the two which are on the board now, he's got to kill both of them, and he's got to kill the resummoned eight eight as well. So this should be a really hard task for him, and he's not a priest, which is good news. Even the two twos unreliable. Might hit the wrong thing. This is a card which says if your opponent doesn't have any armor, destroy all his minions and the don't trigger their death, death rattles. That'd be quite funny if there's a card like that. Because then he could have a 50 50 chance of attacking my face, getting rid of the armor, and then destroying my board. No! You serious? Are you serious? See, he wants to get rid of that one, doesn't he? Counter spell? Oh, I get through. Ice barrier. No, 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 I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. No, I didn't play around flame ward. I had lethal there. If he doesn't have a taunt. Then I might still have lethal. I've lost my death. That was so silly. Oh, brain freeze. Five mana to kill this and get armor. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, because even if he would have killed that, I still had my hero power. That was very close. That was a terrible blunder there. My goodness. What was it what am I doing? What was I thinking? Well, oh, thoughts are not in our hands. We just try our best. Whew. Wow, okay. It's a tough run this. It's not easy. He's technically one of the lowest uh, rated decks I've been playing with as well. Another priest! Dear My Dear goodness. So when when do we lose? We ah okay. So we lost when we were three what three zero and we lost when we were three one. So now we're playing sort of decks which have also lost twice. Okay. Take the raven, that's the ideal start always. Best minion we've got. Living with. I'm surprised of the lack of AOE that's in people's decks at the moment. It really does point to token strategy. Mmm, always a scary one. I think we have to temper this out. They could have some nasty stuff going on here. So I'm losing Evil all the value. Just keep moving. Yeah, okay. For your entertainment. Stop the 
And that was a lot of value, that uh, Enchanted Raven. It killed uh, Where you followed. About two, two mana's worth of minions, so that puts me two mana ahead on board at the moment. As long as I can keep the tempo going. Um, let's see what that does. Okay. Was that better? Mm. Either way, I would have had two two ones or a two three. I don't think it's that much different. Do I want the rush? If I rush, I'm, I end up with two, leave myself open to a, what's it called? I think I'm the, s I'm the bigger one. Ah! Oh, goodness. I don't think we can pass up on five damage and just damage our strong board. Force him to use his removal. Because we've got we've got on curve plays for the next two turns. We got brilliant on curve now. Right. Okay. <laughs> He's got a clown. Okay. Right. Do do we actually want to accelerate our tempo here? <laughs> Let's play the saplings. Yeah. It does get a bit annoying after a while. So we need to fuse force. That's that's why we, we played it like that. So we've got minions on board to die for the sake of infuse. So he's been infusing up as well. Wow, okay. So we could play two into that, that's seven. Play these two in the thing, yeah, okay, we can do that. That basically infuses us for the next turn. So seven, two threes in this one, one, yeah. Don't want to give an extra heal, so let's force him to play into this. Okay, that that infuses us. Perfect. That infuses us, so we can play this. That dies. Okay, it's not exactly perfect. It's more or less perfect. Come on, give us that big. I want to see number 10 hit. Eight! Oh, what's that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Four hits that. If he hits that twice, it dies. Okay, I could survive a hysteria, but mass hysteria looks pretty bad here. Yeah. Equal to its, its attack. So I've got an eight attack minion, two attack, eight attack minions here. Ouch. That's a really strong card, but uh, in terms of tempo on the board. Ah, come on. What should I do here? Right, so what do I have here? I don't have that many good minions, but I've got good spells. Can I? No, I think I just play slowly here. 
as long as he doesn't have a mass board thing all of these have got but even it's going to be hard for him to clear this with a mass removal a oh, mass hysteria yes but but regular hysteria there's no way he can clear this board and we're threatening lethal so he's, we're forcing his hand here so he can't develop he's gonna to have to try light bomb no he's got light bomb oh no he's trying for hysteria I I, I I just said hysteria will not work on this board and he's got a second one yee oh my goodness wow well played okay that's crazy um one minute how, how much damage do we have for discover a like or a spell hmm. one minute this does 15 damage to face that's 16 damage I think we're just going to play it safe here let's get another 2-2 two -two on board oh nice okay so if it does damage my whole board If he does damage my whole board, then at least I draw an extra card. No, 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 no. Oh, phew. <laughs> I thought it was a corrupted one. It wasn't corrupted, which is good. Okay, so the four, five, four, yeah, yeah. It is um, is that right? Do, do, do. One, two, three. Yeah, add a few ways of finishing one of that. Okay, finally. We beat uh, this dastardly priest. Okay. Let's see if we can make it to seven wins. Be nice. And then we could do a nice pack opening. Quite a few different types of packs. I think we've got classic packs, we've got class packs, and I think we've got regular uh, Castle Nathry packs quite a few of them I think Ooh, playing another thousand win druid expert here okay okay that's nice that's really nice okay question is what did you turn to Turn two is a bit tricky because we really, we really want to play this. Uh, maybe turn two we play this. Yeah, I, th I think we play this turn two. What? Well, how did he play that? Oh, sorry, he started. Not paying attention. We could do this. He's going to get a nice value trade, doesn't he? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll play for the value since we're going second. So we've got a bit more cards, a bit more value. Let's see what he does here. See, I could always coin out this, which will give me extra. Wow! That's a sacrifice. Oh, one in four chance, and we got it. We got the infuse card. Very nice. Let's just hope he doesn't play another minion because we'd like to play the gorilla. But after this, okay. Unfortunately, not. Um. We'll play this. Going to keep trading this, just delaying him. 
slowly infusing my card. Yeah, take five damage. Thank you. Living roots would be nice here. Yeah, so we, we can actually play these two now, actually. So let's just do it. Play this. Generate a card. Um, after your play, opponent plays a minion, give it reborn. I don't think I want to do that. A 5 mana 5-5 five five is pretty good as well. I don't think he's shuffled anything into his deck, has he? I don't think I've got anything with shuffles into deck. Give it reborn. After he plays a minion. Mm, okay. I mean, if he plays a big taunt or something, then I'm in big, big trouble. Uh, but Annoyatron. What, what what do we have to play for next turn? Uh, we've got a 5-drop, 2-drop. We don't have an infuse yet. We've got this. I think we're going to get a bit clogged up, so maybe we take the cheaper option. Okay, so we should be kind of equal on board here. I've got slightly more attack. He's got the same health. If he trades quite nicely with that 2-2 with that two -two into the 3-2, so that puts us... Basically, we're, we're exactly equal on board at the moment, but he's got five mana to spend. So if he wastes this, then we, we can start taking the initiative. I guess we could play this and the uh, Wasteland Assassin, discourage him from playing anything on board. Okay, I think maybe now we just do this and the nature. Mm. Okay, uh, no, let's, let's do this. Let's play the spell straight away. Get rid of the taunt just so he doesn't start building anything a bit scarier behind it. Hope he doesn't have a poisonous minion on the other side. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure how useful that is for him. This nice lunar eclipse is nice, so we can play this for free. He's going to trade everything into this. Okay. Could go hero power, ping something off. Hero power, four, six, that, that looks like a good combo. Hmm. I could just get rid of this. Yeah, okay, I think, I think I'll do it like this. Okay, uh, go hero power. We can actually taunt this up actually. Do it like this instead. Just realized. So if that's the case, we can actually just do this. Get rid of that. Getting rid of the maximum, maybe because of value traded that, maybe I'll do it better. We can infuse next turn plus this. So we've got a lot of um, bounce back ability here. We've got two rush minions, we've got stealth minion, which we could preemptively play next turn if we can s put it in. He actually did draw two one health minions. 
Wow! He had one health minions. Intriguing. Yeah, we gotta kill this because it's just gonna keep regenerating. We've we've got the attack on board to do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's really run out of cards, so I've just got to survive now, don't I? Um, taunt. Taunt stealth buff. I could play the three and then have six mana for this and the rush. Five, two and two, five, two and two. Maybe five, two and two. It's good here. We can always rush next turn with both rushes. Can I get a That's the one I didn't want it to land on. Okay, so he's got a five, nine on board. If this is Denatris, I'm going to be so annoyed because he's had this in his hand since turn two. So it's a million he's got. It's good, good to know. Uh, I can wipe out his boards probably easily next turn. Six and four. Three, four, six. <sighs> Maybe I'll get lucky with a tool. Ah, oh, okay. Um, not too bad. I could get two, two damage out from here. Which is all I need. What to do? Gotcha. Time waits for no one. Place to hide. Six, seven. Just gotta hope he doesn't have that extra point of damage. This is really way too close. Any damages he wins. Okay. He's gonna give me the card draw. Okay. He gave me the card draw, so I've got taunt. I've got two taunts here. So he, can actually, he can't kill. The 8 6 goes in. Okay. This should let me survive. So he can't kill both of them because he can't kill this off this turn. Four. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate. Very, very close there. Okay, five wins is nice. Uh, we'll do a quick pack opening. Yeah, never mind. Ah, that was really close. Yeah, I mean, that was a perfect card he had the Big 8-8. Eight eight. Sticky 8-8, eight eight, which I can't do much about. 
I got lucky with the Oxisari though. That could have made a big difference. Yeah. Six sixty dust, five five gold. On top of the cost. Even though I didn't have to pay for it this time. Okay, so let's have a look. Three ones as druid, four and five. I wonder what does this have? I've got, I thought I had a 12 win run with Druid. Oh, no, that was the jewels. That was in jewels. Okay. Yeah, that's my legendary, which I'm going to open at the end of this pack opening. Very close to another one, actually. Okay, so let's open some packs. So, how am I going to do it? Am I going to open the class packs first? I'm going to open th these ones first. So let's work it out. Um, could I open the classic packs first. It, right, so if classic packs could give me wild cards. But it's more likely to give me current class cards, I'm guessing. S same with these, I hope. So I think we open th these ones first, the uh, more obscure ones first. They could favour... Okay. okay. Nothing special there. Druid! Give me something good, Druid. Of course, n never anything good in the class cards packs. Milk of Gross, okay. Warlock. Give me some of those nice rough arm cards. Imp Warlock. Come